Hey Scrappers, here we are at Roxbury Auto in New Jersey, and we have Christian that's gonna be helping us take apart this old Toyota Prius. So right now we're gonna cut the catalytic converter. Normally they're located in this area, generated area of the car. Yep. Sometimes they're located further up. Uh, but right here, this kind of converter is right here in the, in the middle. The things you want to keep in mind when you're looking at these cats, right? We always talk about these O2 sensors, and that's a really good part to take off. And if you can look from this side, you're actually going to see that there are two catalytic converters. This is not a cat. This is a resonator. But if you come over here, you're going to see one here, and then you follow the pipe up, and it goes right underneath. So it gives you a nice, clean cut. And because it's a Toyota, they have these beautiful numbers in, that are etched on an EA6, and this is probably a GD3. And we'll show you how we're going to cut these off, having a nice, sharp, soft, Sawzall, reciprocating saw blade, having things plugged in, making sure that you're doing nice clean cuts through. And you can never be too close unless you start to cut the case away from the catalytic converter. That's never a good thing. We've talked about this before. You never ever want to go and cut a catalytic converter open because the honeycomb that's inside, it looks exactly the same from one car to another. While there's a couple of different types of honeycomb, what if it was an aftermarket versus an OEM? Knowing what it comes off of, really important. So here we are, we have the second catalytic converter. We got the O2 sensor. You wanna just pull that off or doesn't matter. Scrap, right? There it is. So here you see two catalytic converters off of a Prius. You got the GD3 and you got the EA6. There's a really nice cats. You can get quotes from rrcats.com, but here's one cat. Here's cat number two. So we've already cut these catalytic converters off. Of course, you have the O2 sensor on as well, and that's something you want to cut off and save so you can sell those separately. But while we have the car lifted here, we just want to show you what everything looked like. Many people think that these are catalytic converters. These are just resonators, and generally you can kind of hit it, and you can hear it's very much empty inside. If you hit something like this, you don't really have the same feeling or sound. So here you have the resonator, you have the muffler pipe that goes down, and over here you have the exhaust that spits everything out. Of course, all the emissions are getting captured inside of the two catalytic converters. And if we kind of backtrack, we have the muffler, we have the pipes, we have the resonator, and everything would have gone up and into the engine where all of those fumes would have been coming down and into. So just good idea, good, good knowledge on what all of these pieces look these fall on you and having oil drip on you versus fall on you I'm sure is a real different thing. Thanks for watching our video. For $2.99 a month, by becoming a member, you can get access to early videos, member-only videos, merchandise discounts from our store, and priority comments that we answer before answering any other scrappers. Click the link below to learn more. Until next time, scrap you later.